Hey, hey, Live All Good Podcast listeners. It is the latest episode of Cruising with the Coaches, a conversation with Julian Lee. On this next episode, we talk about omission and the damage it can cause to relationships. That conversation is coming up after the break. life coach and founder of Live All Good Coaching. I'll be on the air with Podcast Business News Network talking about the various things around health and wellness and mental health. Also talking about how mindset is critical to achieving the goals that you set for yourself. You can reach me at liveallgood, the number 44, at gmail.com or you can go to my website liveallgood.com and fill out the contact form and reach me there. Once again, that's liveallgood.com. Go to the about section, fill out the contact form, or you can reach me at liveallgood, the number 44, at gmail.com. Our priority at Blue Monarch Communications is building your confidence as an effective presenter. Whether you are preparing for a formal presentation, a keynote address, an interview, or presenting an idea or concept to your team or your clients, we are here to ensure that you are poised to effectively communicate your content while engaging and connecting with your audience. Let our team help you shine. Peace, everyone. This is Aunt Boogie, and you're listening to my man, Lee Grigsby, on the Live All Good Podcast. Keep it locked. Let's go, coach! Party people, party people, what is going on? Another episode of Cruising with the Coaches, conversation with Julie and Lee. My friend, my co-host with the most, Julie Cruz, how you doing? Good, how are you? I am actually good. And I'll tell you why. Because <laughs> you're like, well, wait, you're good? Well, hi, good? Are you good? Okay, I'm good. What are you good? I am good because I am injury free. Yay! Finally. Good. Finally, it's been, been good. rough summer. Um, yeah, I actually not sure if I told you I had the second stress fracture, but I know you knew about the first one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had a second one, but um, yeah, I've gotten. But back you just of, had a boot, right? Not a cast. Yeah, you had a yeah, boot. just a oh, boot. That's, not, just a that's boot. not horrible. No, 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 it's not horrible. So um, the person who didn't have a cast, a boot on. <laughs> mm, mm. <laughs> No, but slowly rebuilding, like I've, I've gotten back to some runs, taking it slow, back in the gym, feeling good. So Good, yeah, good, good. Man. Plus, you know, school started, uh, don't have a mini hanging around a little bit, so. Yes. But yes. that's also, school has started. <laughs> yes, so exciting, so yeah. exciting. My house looks exactly <laughs> the way I left it in the morning, so that's. And you're like beautiful thing you're like wait did something happen did i no it's who's not here yeah yeah Yeah, yeah. food is lasting longer um (laughs) (laughs) just yeah (laughs) first world problems folks first world problems yes cool yes well you know we we like to to bring it real for y'all we like to have you guys thinking about um topics right so um I say we get into it. What do you what do you say? Sounds like a plan. All right. Well, folks, this is what <laughs> we're talking about. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, wait a minute. What are they? Omission. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's 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 what we're talking about. It, it, everybody pump their brakes, right? Because we're going to go through it with you. We're going to talk about 
um, the definition, right, of omission. And uh, I'll put mm-hmm. that up there now. And and literally, we're gonna after the break, we're gonna talk about reasons of it being damaging. Okay, uh, but okay. just for for our our conversation here, let's make sure we're all on the same page, right, about what omission is. Mm-hmm. Generically speaking, it is a person or a thing that has been left out or excluded. Or as an action, it is the act of excluding or leaving someone out or something out. Mm -hmm. Or on a a higher plane, if you will, right? It's a failure to do something, especially when it's legal or moral obligation. All Mm -hmm. right? right. So since that is our working definition, do you have any feelings about the moral obligation or legal obligation of omission? Or how do you feel about that general definition? Yeah. Is that acceptable? No, it's a, yeah, completely and totally acceptable uh, mm-hmm. definition of the word for sure. For sure. But I mean, yeah, yes, Google I, I have typically does on omission. <laughs> 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 yes, of course I have my feelings Google, on omission. Google definitely doesn't go wrong. So just making sure yeah. like we're, we're all on the same page. Same page. Um, but what what I was reading was, you know, uh, uh, these articles. It was an article. Oh, oh, too fast. Sorry. So that was our working definition. So from the article on this website called Live Bold and Bloom, it mm-hmm. talks about omission and relationships. All right. But in order to actually um, be on the same page when we're talking about relationships, it brought this up. There's four types of lies, if you will. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And clearly these are the four types, denial, fabrication, exaggeration or minimization and omission of truth. All right. So those are the four things that we're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry, but those are the four types of lies. We're talking about omission, but I think it's important to really lay that foundation for those other things too. Right. Because there's mm-hmm. there's a term called gaslighting, <laughs> right? Correct. That that yes. <laughs> that pertains to these things. Um, so yeah, let's 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 go ahead and, and bust through them. What do you say? You know, and oh, if you want to yeah. jump in and have any examples, let me know. Um, okay. but clearly, we we want to get to the omission part of how mm-hmm. that looks. Sure. So when we're talking about denial. This is what the article defined it as when someone refuses to accept or acknowledge the truth. Right. I think that's important Mm -hmm. because it's not just about accepting. If someone um, is not is trying to tell you, no, 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 that didn't happen. Nope. It didn't happen that way. Well, they're not acknowledging it. It can be purposeful and someone can do it as a habit. You know, it's habitual Um, and it typically leads to another lie. Right. Correct. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> uh, um, fabrication, and pardon my French here, but this is when someone's just making shit up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you know, when they're just when they're just making like it, it doesn't even exist. You know what I mean? Right. Like um, right. It, it doesn't even make sense. But they're just creating something that is not true. Mm-hmm. Exaggeration is. Or can be looked at as embellishment, right? When someone is stretching the truth, excuse me, or when they are, um, I don't know if, if we're talking about purposeful or not, but when they are making something, saying something, so it's misleading, right? Okay. Exaggeration, mm-hmm. okay? And the winner that we're talking about today, omission of truth. This is when someone leaves out a fact or a key detail in the situation and they choose not to correct it and it leaves because that misunderstanding works in their favor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this is what we're talking about. This is omission of truth. So let's come back out on camera here and I want to give the folks um, an easy definition of omission, right? What that looks like. So remember when we, first decided to do video episodes, right? Sure. And 
we've been recording, you know, for well, we're in our second season now mm-hmm. <laughs> of cruising mm-hmm. with coaches. Yes. I I could have easily said, hey, you know, when are we recording next? We record and not told you that this was also going to be a video episode, but then I could have posted it. And that would have been an omission of the fact that I was going to use the video. Right? Sure. Now we got to put like, yeah, okay, we're going to record. I mean, you'd be sitting here all by yourself the next time, but okay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, yes, there are consequences with omission of the (laughs) truth. It would just be coaches. Wouldn't be cruising with the coaches. Just just coaches. (laughs) Coaches chatting about something. (laughs) But but very true, right? There are consequences with omission. Yes. So to give the... Oh, go ahead. There are degrees of omission, okay? So there are things that it's okay to, um, I would say, delay information. Ooh, good good word, delay. Okay, Delay. It's not that you're, you know. It's not omitting. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. So aside from, I mean, everyone knows I have kids, but that's not one of the things that I lead with. You know what I mean? If, If it is your assumption that, I don't have kids. Well, mm-hmm. you get to know me a little bit more Then obviously you'll learn that I have kids. Right. Um, as of lately, it's not my fault. You think I'm 30, but um, <laughs> you know, I don't, I'm not quick to correct that either, but it's just, again, it's, it's a delay of information is one thing, but to mm-hmm. intentionally Mm. omit information is just a Mm -hmm. whole other level, you know? I mean, especially if you're specifically asking the question, you know, if someone is right. If if they're saying, Julie, how old are you? Like, Hey, you don't ask what you're in my damn business. (laughs) 54 y'all. Oh, Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. (laughs) (laughs) But no. So, I mean, like I said, a delay in information is understandable. Mm. But the yeah. complete omission of information is just, I don't, I, yeah. I, no, I agree with you on that. I think, yeah. in, in you put it in a, a very workable term, right? Delay. Mm-hmm. Because if we go back to, here, let me get back to it real quick. Um, omission here, where it's the, you know, it, it's someone who does not correct the, the mm-hmm. either the misunderstanding. Mm-hmm or the actual, what the truth is, right? If they don't correct it. So what you're saying is at some point, you know, as they get to know you, then the rest of the truth comes out, right? Like they get to know if you have kids or Mm -hmm. if you disclose your age, that you're not 30, that you're 31, you know, you tell them that, you know? Right, right. Um, so yeah, I, I think a delay of information, that's, that's legit. You know, you're not trying to intentionally mislead someone, Correct. right? Correct. I, I think that's fair. Um, this article did have examples. Um, I can bring those up too. Okay. Um, so that we can go over them with the audience. So example, and they're, they're simple examples. So I think we can, um, use them, but example number one is, you know, you, you someone tells your friend that you missed their wedding because you were in the hospital. <laughs> and I like this, but you're better now, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so then they choose the person who was in the hospital doesn't correct the truth or doesn't correct the lie, sorry, that they were at the movies instead, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. So that's that's not really, I don't think that's something that you ever want to share with the friend uh, maybe in in i would say maybe it depends on your friendship right if you're first of all if you're close friends you're probably going to be in the wedding or at least want to go if it's yeah. an associate or something like that okay maybe you, <laughs> maybe you don't want to find the plus one to go to the wedding i don't know but it, but i mean it just in this on, example though it says someone told your friend so someone right. covered for you right and like first of all i'm gonna tell you right now i don't need nobody to cover for me you know what i mean if i didn't go <laughs> i i'm gonna tell you why i didn't go maybe i won't tell you why i didn't go I'll, i'm gonna send you a car so what's it matter but you right. know but, but it's just but you're not good you're not going things. to say 
I was in the hospital. <laughs> no, no. And then Nor say, oh, am I covering okay? for someone Feeling else. Better? Yeah. yeah. Like I wouldn't right. even do, I wouldn't even put myself out there for someone else. Like, oh, you know, she's not right. here because blah, 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 blah. Right. Look, I don't know why she's not here. Even if I do know why she's not here, that's her story to tell you, not my right. story to tell you. Not your business to tell. Not right. my business. No. Because as we'll as as I, I teased and after the break, we'll talk about, you know, what omission does, what consequences mm -hmm. it can make. Like that, why put yourself out there? Right. There yes. are consequences. And so even if you know the reason somebody's not being honest, if it's not you, not your business to tell. Exactly. Let them come I clean with it. I have a hard enough time remembering what I'm actually supposed to do, let alone trying to remember what I told somebody I was going to do. You know, it's so, like, so I'm not going to lie about it. Right. No, I literally don't have time. And sometimes I might have lied and didn't even know I did it because I meant to do it. And I, you know, I meant to do what I said I was going to do. Right. And then I just right. didn't do it, you know, and. Well, you know, see, that that's happened. not omission. That's just a mistake. No, there, but you know, there's I a did. difference between a mistake and omission. You know, yeah, I have seen situations where people have been like, no, no, I was there. I'm like, no, you weren't. No, you weren't. Why are you lying? Why are you lying? <laughs> you, you heard it from somebody, but you weren't there because because I know why there. you weren't there because yeah. I was there. <laughs> exactly. You're like, okay. Like, it's just, you know, you pick your battles. You learn what yeah. to, you know, so it's just like, okay, I know you yeah. weren't there, but that's okay. I don't, I don't know if the kids call it with these days, but you know, that's busting somebody out, right? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, yeah. some sometimes people need to be busted out. Sometimes that's, that's what right. I'm saying. <laughs> but, but we're we're not encouraging that, folks. We're no. not encouraging. No, that. no. <laughs> so this next next example, I, I I actually laughed when I read this one, right? Because <laughs> used car salesmen they get get a bad rap. So it's saying uh -huh. that you buy a car from someone who's bragging about how aerodynamic it is and how infrequently they have to gas the car. Then you get the keys and they drive off and the car has no engine. I was like, like, but I mean, honestly, in reading this, the person was truthful. <laughs> I mean, that's, that is true. <laughs> that, is, that is all truth. Just because you didn't ask if they had an engine is not their true, fault. True, <laughs> true. But, but, but that is still, that is still omission, right? When they say, because <laughs> we're talking about transparency. Well, yes. you know, someone could say, yo, you know what, bruh, it ain't got no engine. So, <laughs> you know, you could probably carry it back home with you. You don't even have yeah. to tow it. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's, you don't want to, that's also misleading, right? It's aerodynamic. You don't have to gas it that much. Yeah, you ain't got to gas no engine at all. It has no that's, engine. There's, what's the so, problem? So it's true but but yeah you want to stay <laughs> <laughs> work it out <laughs> you want to kind of stay away from that you, you don't want to yes. mislead someone on purpose Definitely. so here's the prime example because this is what we're going to get into folks so this one was kind of crazy right you tell your new romantic partner you've never had a physical affair but neglect to mention you and your ex-wife divorced because you had an emotional relationship with another woman. That, my friends, is omission of the truth. Mm. But, but I think to your point, uh, like you were saying before, if you, if, if this is a new romantic partner, and mm -hmm. you spend more time together, is that information that you're going to delay? Or is that really something that's omission that you're not going to talk about ever? You know, that's a good question because mm -hmm. you know, in a relationship, a marriage, a divorce, what have you, Sure. You can be in the same situation and there are like so many different stories as to what actually happened. Cause you know, there's his story, her story, and then mm -hmm. the truth or the his truth. story, his story <laughs> and the truth, but whatever, like there's, there's three stories. And in some cases 
stories. At least three four stories. Or five. Because then <laughs> it's, you know, the in-laws on each side got to report what they thought they saw. Right. You know, and so right. it's just kind of like, I guess it just depends on, you know, the transparency issue. You know, like mm-hmm. uh, how much do you want to hold yourself accountable mm-hmm. for the situation mm-hmm. at hand? Because that's the other thing is mm-hmm. of with the situation and the relationship, like, how much are you willing to say was my part? What, mm-hmm. you know, like if you were going to yeah. sit there and say, look, while I didn't have a physical relationship with someone, I had an emotional relationship with, and these mm-hmm. are the reasons why I did it. Full then, disclosure. Yes. Absolutely. Like, like, yeah. yeah, you can't stop it. This is why we got divorced. Exactly. Right? exactly. If, if this is why we got divorced. Yep. Here's the part. I had to play. This is the part she, he had to play, whatever my, the partner, or like I'm even suggesting, <clears throat> excuse me, again, depending on the time of that new romantic mm-hmm. partner, right? Correct. Correct. Maybe, maybe you don't lead with that. <laughs> yeah. If, if, if it's date one, it two, like, three. I like cheating on my ex a lot. And so, um, you know, I'm just coming at you like, what's up? You know, like, who says that? Nobody <laughs> says that. Well, like, <laughs> well, I'd be willing to bet someone has. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Well, there are some people. I mean, I do watch uh, Love and Hip Hop. Yeah, right. Oh, um, <laughs> hmm. that show whole another whole another show that we're going to start. Oh, no, my kidding, goodness. Kidding. Oh, my goodness. That show but very yeah. true, right? Like, like yes. no one, you don't lead with that. No. But if no. you find out that you start spending more time and it's going somewhere where both of you want it to go, then that does become something you might want to talk about. Yeah. Cause I mean, you, you can know? even just say something as simple as, you know, um, while me and my ex did not work out, mm-hmm. I hold ownership over my part. Right. Period. Right. You don't and that's it because you elaborate. Yeah. You can't have like, ownership of what they did or didn't do anyway. Exactly. And if the right. other person cares about you enough to get the information, then maybe mm-hmm. that relationship is, you know, salvageable. But maybe that person doesn't care. So, like, what's the point yeah. of opening that can of worms? You know what right. I mean? Because there are people who are very capable of taking people at face value. They don't care. Right. how you treated the person previous to them because mm-hmm. it has nothing to do with them. So and they'll see whether or because if you've evolved and grown from it, mm-hmm. then you're going to be a different person anyway. Exactly. Right? One would exactly. hope. One would yeah. Hope. Well, I want to bring this up. Um, there are in, in this article that we are talking about, there's four main reasons why people um, use omission to lie. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, the uh, first one is fear. Second one is guilt, shame, or manipulation. And and in no particular order, right? It's not like they do it the most with fear or, or whatever. But these are the four main reasons that they listed um, that people, <clears throat> excuse me, use omission to lie. And mm-hmm. so I think that kind of goes to what we're talking about a little bit, right? In this new relationship, maybe someone has shame of what their past was. So they're not mm-hmm. going to readily just share that. Uh, we mentioned gaslighting before, right? Um, yes. That manipulation word, that's what gaslighting mm-hmm. is, folks. That's exactly, yep. <laughs> that's, yep. that's what gaslighting is for. Um, guilt. I think we a lot of us will carry guilt. And, you know, if you feel guilty for whatever you did, you tend not to want to revisit that, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And I, I think we all kind of carry fear and that can, you you can be afraid of what that other person is going to think. If I sit there and say, you know, I really did want a different co-host for cruising with the coaches, but it really wouldn't work <laughs> because oh, wait, <laughs> is that manipulation or is that guilt or is that shame? You know, <laughs> but if, and if, the other if, thing is, yeah. The reasons, I mean, I mm-hmm. get the reason why people lie or, you know, sure. choose to or use, use omission. omission. Mm-hmm. And the, the thing is, though, I mean, I think as a person, maybe you're a person who actually gaslights and you know you do it. Okay. There are people who know do what it. they're doing. Yes. 
they yeah. choose to do it. And yeah. so maybe just looking at that and understanding, you know, I know I'm not given all the information. So let me let me let it all out kind of a thing. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it's those folks who choose omission and believe their own stuff because you're just sitting there like, <laughs> wow, like, what are you talking? You yeah. know, like, like, I just recently went through that and it was just kind of like, mm. I know for a fact mm -hmm. that these plans were set before. And now you're saying you mm. set up these plans because of this to, because then, because gaslighting is all about making the other first person feel bad. It's yes. not about the person who's gaslighting. The person who's gaslighting is just trying to be clear that you are the problem. Exactly. Right? Yep. So yep. it's it's just interesting to me. Like, fine, if mm. you want, if your behavior is to be a habitual om person who omits things, that's mm. fine. Just don't believe your own crap because that's the scariest thing. Yeah. You know? Well, it's to piggyback on what you're saying, I think some people, let me be more accurate. There are a lot of people <laughs> who, who've done it for so long. They can't even that, see the truth. That they actually do believe it. I yeah. think that's even worse, right? If yeah. you're starting to believe Every like the lies that you're using, that's a bigger problem. That's so absolutely sad. Mm -hmm. because they don't know what the real truth is. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That also goes back to that fear because I think deep down they have a fear of if that truth really comes out, mm -hmm. they not it has nothing to do with anyone else. They won't like it, right? They, they don't like, like the, the outcome. It's mm -hmm. the outcome that they're fearing. It's yeah. it, it's it's just a manipulation to make you do what it is that they want you to do. Period. Yep. yep. So a lot of that comes with narcissism, folks. Just, it, we, we won't <laughs> tackle that one today. That's whole <laughs> narcissism. That's, another show. Yeah. Yeah. That's a whole show by itself. <laughs> <laughs> and and you don't have any narcissistic hosts. We promise you. We promise I hope you. not. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, they do like us, right? So, I mean, you know, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But uh, why, why don't we jump to a break? And after we come out of the break, we'll talk about, I'm going to use this word loosely, reasons. Mm -hmm. Excuses. Okay. <laughs> reasons why omission is damaging. <laughs> And we teased excuses, but reasons. Yeah, that's it. All right, folks, we'll take a break and we'll be right back. Our priority at Blue Monarch Communications is building your confidence as an effective presenter. Whether you're preparing for a formal presentation, a keynote address, an interview, or presenting an idea or concept to your team or your clients, we are here to ensure that you are poised to effectively communicate your content while engaging and connecting with your audience. Let our team help you shine. life coach and founder of Live All Good Coaching. I'll be on the air with Podcast Business News Network talking about the various things around health and wellness and mental health. Also talking about how mindset is critical to achieving the goals that you set for yourself. You can reach me at liveallgood, the number 44, at gmail.com or you can go to my website liveallgood.com and fill out the contact form and reach me there. Once again, that's liveallgood.com. Go to the about section, fill out the contact form, or you can reach me at liveallgood, the number 44, at gmail.com. Listen to Keeping the Towel with Aunt Boogie on SoundCloud, Anchor.fm, Amazon Music, 
Google Podcasts, and Apple Podcasts. A new episode is dropped every first and third week of every month. Once again, keeping the towel with Aunt Boogie. Wipe the blood, wipe the sweat, wipe the tears. But whatever you do, don't throw in your towel. All right, folks, welcome back from the break. As you know, we have been talking about omission and what that looks like. We've given you some examples um, and, and, you know, the reasons why people lie by omission, right? Or the four main reasons. That's what we talked about before the break. So now what we want to go through is the, there's seven of them, I believe, of reasons why it's damaging to Mm -hmm. use omission. All right. Um, So I'd say we jump into them. What do you say? Sounds good. All right. Um, Let me pull that up here. There we go. So reason number one is it causes a breakdown in communication. As you've heard us talk about time and time again on Cruising with the Coaches, communication is critical. And and let me be clear, we're not just speaking of um, platonic relationships, or or we're not just speaking of romantic relationships, right? Work relationships, friendships, uh, parent-child relationships. All relationships, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Communicate, it breaks down communication, right? Communication is critical. Um, do you want me to jump to the next one or do you have anything you want to add about the breakdown of communication? I, I mean, I would just add, you know, for a, at least this reason, you know, of course mm-hmm. it breaks down the communication, but again, isn't it easier to tell the truth than to have to try to remember what you, what you said kind of a thing, oh, you know what I mean? It's just, of course there's a yeah. breakdown of communication because most of the conversation is happening in your own head because you're trying to figure out what you <laughs> said last time. I'm just oh, saying. I got to come back out on camera here because <laughs> as a parent, <laughs> if you can tell your parent because you just said it, isn't it easier to just tell the truth from the beginning? Tell the truth. Come on. <laughs> because just, then you're trying truth. to remember what you said. And I, I have to tell on my daughter. And if she ever watches this, sorry. But it's funny because like I've, I have said those exact same things. And then she said, yeah, I, I don't remember saying that. And I'm like, mm, but I remember you saying it. And mm-hmm. now you're saying something different. So mm-hmm. which one do you want me to believe? Which one is real? But if you just started with the truth, that communication makes it so much easier than, mm-hmm. you know, either omission or just straight out lying. I mean, we all have enough oh. on our plates. We <laughs> all have enough on our minds. So it's just... Just, yeah. just shoot out the truth. Like, just, just. I, there's no point in trying to. I don't know. It, it, it's just silly. It's just yeah. Well, silly. as as a co-host of mine on this show says, ain't nobody got no time for that. <laughs> ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> none, none, folks, none. All right, number two, <clears throat> and this is actually really true. Secrets can be harmful to your health, right? So while you're omitting the truth and trying to figure out what to say, remember what you said, it's stressful. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, it's stress trying to do that. And if your body as, as a health coach, trust me, y'all, the stress will wear on your body. And then the stress begins to change your body, right? It changes the internal processes of what happens. Stress is literally a killer. So, Mm omitting the truth and holding the secrets literally can kill you so it that is harmful to your health um anything you'd like to add for reason two or shall we move on to three well again like you were talking earlier like because it's Mm -hmm. all the relationships that you have okay yeah yeah if you're telling your people at work one thing and you're telling your people in your family another thing and then you're telling your parents something else are you kidding me? Do you know how hard it is to try to keep track of all of what you've said? So That's yeah, right. it, it, and then so then you're worried. You're worried in every location. Like okay, did, like did I tell this person this much information? Did I tell this person that much information? Like what did exactly. I say? Exactly. And then you're you're just creating anxiety for yourself. Oh in each one of those yes. 
So <laughs> and 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 you said it perfectly. You're creating that, right? You're yeah. creating your own stress. Uh, you know, we nope, I won't even suggest that. I was gonna say, I wonder if someone could come up with an <laughs> app that holds your lies and you can go, well, hold on, let me see which one I told you, you know, <laughs> find the one, <laughs> but no, no, let's not do that. <laughs> I will make that up. <laughs> <laughs> it's counterproductive what we're talking about. <laughs> I, I think people would buy it. <laughs> I, oh, they would. I know they would. <laughs> Reason numbers. I got to talk to my developer friend about that. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Reason oh. number three is hiding a problem actually stops constructive solutions, right? So Absolutely. In a, I think in any relationship, that's true. If you are not able to be honest and open and transparent, then you can't really find a constructive or positive solution that works for both the people. And again, we're not talking about just romantic relationships, but any relationship, you know, if you, if I brought up my daughter, well, you know, if she's not truthful, what's, what's going on, as I've told her time and time again, I can't fully support you and help figure something out. Or I can't just listen to what you're saying if you're not telling me the whole truth, you know? And also, like, the other side of that, what what is it that mm -hmm. makes it, makes you feel like you need to omit things to me? Is Am I responding mm -hmm. in a way that makes you feel as though you're, you're not secure? So then that's a whole other conversation. Correct. Right. Because how, how do we know, right? Yeah. How do, yeah. Unless, unless someone tells us, how do we know? Yes. Absolutely. Number four, <laughs> it, uh, I think we touched on this one before the break. <laughs> <laughs> Lies of omission lead to understandings and consequences. So the very first example was if I had omitted from telling my co-host that we were actually going to do video and use the video, the consequence mm -hmm. would have been I'd be doing a show solo. Wow. <laughs> so so yeah not only it, it, it wouldn't have been a misunderstanding that would have been yeah a consequence of and and not just consequence of not doing a show but that would have been a consequence of friendship too you know what i mean that would have been like wait like bro what you doing like yeah. you can't you can't tell me that we're going to do video <laughs> you know something simple you know what i mean yep. yeah yep. yeah not a good look, folks. So number five, and I think this goes to that point. When the truth mm -hmm. comes, oh, that's a typo. Man, sorry, folks. Uh, clearly, I need glasses. That says cut, and it should say out. <laughs> oh. or, either, or, or maybe I can't type. One of the two. I, I don't know. Does it say cut? I see out. Is it it says I out? See? I see wow, out. Maybe, maybe I need glasses. No, maybe it is. Oh, then. Okay. I see it. Oh, bro. <laughs> <Looks like. laughs> I see it. Well, oh, bro. Well, you know, you should really have omitted telling me the truth that you see an O. You should have <laughs> went with you see the C. I mean, so that I'm way, so that way, I won't be ashamed. Hold on, I got to go full screen now. I got to yeah, go full I see screen. Oh, that's an O U T. Oh, I do see it you now. You need to yeah. go get your eyes checked. Ooh. <laughs> wow. That was a whole it's conversation all good. about the whole scene. <laughs> <laughs> Well, um, when the truth comes out and not cut, when it comes out, the trust could be a permanent loss. And I think that's pretty self-explanatory. That is self-explanatory. And again, that goes back yeah. to like what I was saying earlier. You know, there are certain things when you're first meeting someone or dating someone mm -hmm. that, you know, you delay or, you know, sure. there's not full full disclosure, you know, mm. in the first 15 minutes of meeting someone kind of a thing, you know? I mean, if there's, right. you're know, like, whoo, that's not swipe. I don't know, is it swipe left or swipe right, whatever. It's swipe right, like, right, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 that yeah. One again. But um, just understanding, like, yes, it's okay to be vulnerable and put yourself out there. Right. But at the same time, you don't have to disclose everything but if you're flat right. out asked then answer the question right right you don't have to disclose everything right right but don't don't make up something or don't <laughs> omit something when it's a direct question right like, because because like later in the story 
when it doesn't make sense and you're just sitting there like it's, you, told you me know, I, for... I got to talk about my dad for a minute, man. Okay, you know, okay. Rest his soul, I promise. But, <laughs> you know, is, is he dyed his hair for as long as I can remember, right? Mm -hmm. And that's just because, I mean, as y'all see, you know, I got the white beard. I'm, yes. I'm not dying it. We're not rocking that way. But he dyed his hair for the longest time. So once he stopped dyeing his hair, the dye slowly went out. And it's like, wait a minute, your hair used to be black. But now it's red. Wait, now it's not red. And it went from like black, black to, red to, to like red gray, to gray, right? then to mm -hmm. white. And it's like mm -hmm. something don't add up here. How did you? <laughs> yes. So that's that's kind of omitting. Oh, yeah. No, no, I don't dye my hair at all. Then how you ain't always been a redhead. How'd you turn up a redhead? <laughs> But okay, so but that's a battle. That's a battle. So like <laughs> that's you have to choose to True. allow your daddy to have his hair color. Okay, I mean, because you value the relationship. Well, I'm saying he's probably gonna come haunt me now. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm I'm in trouble. Come here, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just I'm just saying that's is that omission? What is or is that is that what? That's, you know, how's you know that? that is that is straight out omission. But it's those those are the kind you gotta get, let mom right, right, at, and you let you it know? go because you also figure it out like oh yes, yes, because my kids do it. So, Did um, grandma say? I'm like shh, 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 right, right, right. Let it go, let it go, and then like okay. Okay. No, just just I had to share that. I had to share that. Folks. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> So reason number six, right? If if you kept one thing a secret, what else are you not telling? Right? See, and that's the big thing right there. It's just mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. and I don't know like how, I guess like with me, like I'm on the fence with the whole thing. Cause I'm like, mm -hmm. I, like what's, what do you tell? What do you not tell? But then like, what do you not want the person to learn on their own? You know, that's where Ooh, I think it. My thing is, I don't want yeah. someone to learn something on their own that should have came from me kind of a thing. So, and, that's, and that's fair, you know, and, and also yeah. I, I go back to what you've been saying about the delayed information, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. I think that is, that's a critical piece when yes. we're talking about this whole omission or transparency, right? Right. There's no, there's no rule that says you have to be 100% transparent with everything up front, right. unless it's like business dealings, right? Contractual mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Be transparent yeah. with everything up front in writing, all of that, but in yes. relationships and especially, you know, the, the more experienced we are, not older, mm -hmm. but more, you know, as we get Wiser. on, Wiser. It, yes, yes. Yeah. Fine wines, Wiser. fine wines. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you, you like, I think we, you know, we did the episode on too old to be playing games, right? Yes. Yes. So, so stop playing games and just be real. But being real doesn't mean full disclosure with all your baggage right now. <laughs> right. Right. Because the other thing with that too is, you know, don't. Don't back someone in the corner too, either. Mm. So, like, if you know something, right, and you're trying to make them say it, come on now, the, ain't nobody got time for the, those games. <laughs> you know, like, like you're, if no, you you're right. already know, then just ask me. Just flat out, I promise you, I'm not going to lie about it, right. but I'm not going to volunteer information either. Right. You know, because maybe and, that's a part of me I'm not ready for you to know. And on the flip side, with asking, if someone knows it and they ask it. And then the person, like, you have the right to say, you know, I'm not ready to talk about that. I'm not that. comfortable talking with you with that. That's the truth. That's not omission. Yeah. But mm -hmm. if you try to make something up or don't tell the truth, that's what we're talking about. That's omission. Right. Okay? Right. But you or can. You, that's you, part you, of my life that I prefer not to talk about. You can say that. And that's yeah. fair. And if the other person, that's a boundary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if the other person gets upset, well, now you kind of know your boundaries and where you are and you get to go from there. We'll leave that one. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's funny you say boundaries though. Cause Adrian just did that to me the other day. I don't remember what we were talking about. I was trying to talk to her about something. Uh -huh. and she just looked at me. She's like, boundaries, boundaries. boundaries. 
like, you're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, my bad. <laughs> like, all right, let me back up. Let me back I, up. I didn't realize the line was there. <laughs> well, my bad. <laughs> She's like, Padres, Padres. I'm like, okay. nice. Well, hey, that's advocacy, right? You know, good. Yeah, good absolutely. <laughs> Well, the seventh reason why omission can cause damage in relationships, and this is actually, I agree with this one a lot. While it starts off as someone trying to protect themselves, it ends up as self-sabotage, you know? Of course, Um, And I think that is so true because what do we, all of you think leading up to this, the stress that, you know, keeping secrets causes, um, trying to continually make up a story right or remembering what story you made up you're just doing too much too much damage to yourself you know and you sabotage relationships whether it's work relationships friendships and and you end up being alone and bitter and and why doesn't anyone trust me why does anyone like me well (laughs) because you said this and you did this or you said this but i knew this like it's just no good for anybody, man. You know, and it, and it is. It's always just better to, like, we were talking about the relationship about the person saying, mm-hmm. "Well, I didn't have a physical relationship mm-hmm. when I right. cheated. I had an emotional relationship." Right. Like, mm-hmm. that's just setting up that relationship, the new relationship for failure, because right. you're not admitting the fact that, hey, you know, these are the reasons why I did it, or the reasons why I feel I did it. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not giving that person the opportunity to show you what they can can be for you kind of mm-hmm. a thing. So, mm-hmm. yeah, you're just setting yourself up for another loss, which is. Yeah, that so. is a lot of a lot of levels with omission. Mm-hmm. But um, it, uh, any final thoughts you'd like to leave our, our watchers and viewers and listeners with on omission? My big thing is just if if you know that you have a habit of being the person who omits information Mm. try your best to stop it seriously because seriously it 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 no it delays the inevitable which is mm. usually chaos it's usually chaos and so you know it's harder because the more you omit, the more you are grabbing onto this truth that is not you. And it doesn't exist. Yeah. And it doesn't exist, mm. you know, and, it, and and it's just, it's just not worth it. It's like living your truth, be who you are and just hope that your people will, I don't want to tolerate, it's not a good word. Um, <laughs> no. <accept>. We, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes. tolerate, not a good word. But yeah, like your people, your people, your people will find you. You know what I mean? Because yes. when you find yes. your people, you know, you have your people. Yeah. And so when that happens for you, don't don't mess it up by mudding it up. It just doesn't make any sense. Mm, I like it. Mic drop right there, folks. Yeah. <laughs> Tell the truth. Stop it. Well, folks, it has been another great episode has been uh, we, we enjoy spending time with you all. We hope while we talked about omission, <clears throat> excuse me, that you you actually gained something from it. And we hope we entertained you a little bit as well. You know, um, you can find us on Google Podcasts, Apple, Spotify, Amazon. You can find us on YouTube now. And you can find us on Traverse TV, a new streaming platform that's on Roku. It's on uh, Apple TV. And there's an app for it. You can download Traverse TV as well. All right, folks. Well, until next time, that is Lee and Julie signing off. Night.